way through it. Way to go, Eve. Look, there's a supply camp. Nice. Let's take a second to regroup. all the hypercell's energy. Watch out, Eve! I felt it before. Don't worry.
as hard as I expected. Nice. Let's take a look at the hypersummer. Hypercell is intact. I also found a legacy. It's almost like it was planted here for us to see. I'm getting more and more curious. Let's investigate. Let's check it out. Day 78 after the second dive, eighth record. Legacy account Raven. I have discovered an important record of human history. A war ignited by Mother Spear broke out, and as previously recorded, humanity was defeated. Earth then became the stage for the Andro Ados. Andro Ados declared themselves the new human race. This new human race, with Mother Spear at its heart, made tremendous progress and advanced humanity. And the surviving humans, the real humans, they evacuated to an underground facility. Some, led by Raphael Marx, waited here at this facility for an opportunity to strike back. During this time, the surviving humans evolved in order to gain the strength to face the androids. The result of genetic engineering and rapid evolution. Beings that have lost everything. Everything but brute strength and survival instinct. That's what they've become. Monsters. The monsters that we're fighting are the Natibas. Natibas. They were humans. Then, those we've killed so far, they were all humans. I. I can't believe this. But this production facility was definitely made for Natibas. If the Natibas were human, we, the ones fighting against humans, must be. Andro Ados? Are we Andro Ados? The creatures brought into existence, created by Mother Sphere. No! We're humans! Humans with complete bodies, perfectly in harmony with machinery and living tissue. Natibas, on the other hand, are incomplete because they are made only of living tissue. They can't adapt to different environments, and they can't even survive in space. But what if we were created to solve such imperfections? What? Then... Why did Mother Sphere hide this truth from us? I need to think. Yes. I don't think we can reach a conclusion about this on our own. I really do think we should talk to Orkel about all this. Yes, let's do that.
You're here. Excellent work. Hey, Eve. I'll take care of the hypercell. Oh, Colin. I see you have something you'd like to ask me. Perhaps you came across the library at Lavoir. We would like to know the truth. Yes. It is a long, long story. We are certainly human, but this was not the case not too long ago. It is true that those who came before were responsible for the creation of Mother Sphere. The ones now referred to as the last surviving humans. They created us, the Androidos, through Mother Sphere, and for a time we lived in a kind of symbiosis with them. Then... we're androids. We were created. Then why... why did Mother Sphere... The reason is unknown. However, at some point, Mother Sphere made a decision. Humanity's survival depended on a reorganization of the species. And that conflict led to war and the eventual extinction of the surviving humans. That can't be. The few who escaped destruction were scattered to the winds, but some managed to flee and find shelter in the ruins in Lavoir. It was originally a facility for the purpose of genetically evolving mankind. After all, lifespans of the surviving humans were very short. That facility was the birthplace of what we have come to call Natibas. The records in the legacy are all true. All this time we have been waging war on our own ancestors. Now my personal link has extended to a fairly wide area. The next Alpha Natiba cannot be found here on Earth. So. What do you plan to do? Well, well, that still doesn't change the fact that Natibas are our enemies. All right. If we've come this far, we have no choice but to reach the nest through the Master Core. Give me the coordinates of the Alpha Natiba. As you wish. When you return, I will tell you the rest of the story. Or perhaps it would be better to hear it straight from the Elder's mouth. So, you are leaving them? Mm-hmm. I'd like to check that area for more information. Understood. The next destination is the orbit elevator. I'm picking up Alpha Nativa signals at the very end of it. At the end of the orbit elevator? You mean, in space? Yes, in space. Orbit elevator 4 was operating fine until recently. But getting there won't be easy. Natibas have been surrounding it for a long time. I guess I'll have to come up with an infiltration plan based on the map data. Eve, make sure you and Lily are both well prepared before leaving.
You're the angel. You wouldn't know. You have everything. You have power. That's why you can continue with your mission without giving up, despite your doubts. I do always doubt my ability to handle missions on my own. But it's what has to be done. It's what I have to do. That's why I don't give up. Nothing more, nothing less. That's right. Why are you talking like that? I'm a sinner. I abandoned my comrades to save myself. The nightmare still haunts me. The Nativa shot lightning everywhere. They went down one after another, like bowling pins, helpless. At that moment, I didn't care about the expedition or my comrades. I just hid in the shadows, ran back to Zion while the captain bought time. I'm a coward. Can't even avenge my comrades. That's enough. This has to do with Natibas, and I can't ignore that. Where was the expedition headed towards? The buried ruins in the Great Desert. A horrible place, full of sandstorms. All right. Lily, have you seen Adam? Uh, he was right here a minute ago. I'm sure he'll show up soon. While we wait, should we check the main body frame? So, Eve, because you've been gathering a healthy amount of combat data, we can now distribute the body cell's power for greater offensive capabilities. It might add some stress, but we could increase the socket count to equip an additional exospine. That'll be of great help during combat. Please get to this right away, Lily. Yep. Oh, hold on. This might sting a little. Just need to separate this. There. Done. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. Could there be an Alpha Natiba in the orbit elevator? If it hadn't been for Oracle's help, we might have never realized. Before heading to the orbit elevator, actually, never mind. Let's prepare right now.
Are you already prepared to leave? Mm hmm. Just finished. And you, Lily? We're going to be so close to the colony. It's just a lot for me to process. There's no need to overthink it. Eve is the one going to space anyway. You and I will be waiting in the tetrapod. I know, but... Well, we'll see what she sees. So physical distance won't really matter. Okay? Let's go. Eve, just a reminder. We're heading into space, so expect the journey to be a long one. You should try to take care of everything you need to in Zion before we leave. No regrets. Take me to the orbit elevator. All right. All aboard, everyone. saying that's where the Alpha Core is. Adam, are you listening to me? Oh, sorry. I got a message from Zion. Is everything all right? Something serious seems to have happened. I... I have to return to Zion. What? But we've come this far. Okay, I'll go on alone. If I were to go back to Zion now, there's no way to know how things will change. Eve. Drop me off, then head back to Zion. It's fine. I can do this alone. Wait. I think I have a really great idea. You could leave the drone operation to me. Adam can take the hover bike back to Zion while I operate. A perfect plan, right? Lily, not just anyone is able to operate drones. You need a wide field of view, the ability to make smart decisions fast, and... And the stabilizer, scanner, and link sensors do all the work for you. How... how did you...? I figured it all out while modifying the railgun. Went for some test drives, too. It still doesn't compare to the knowledge you gain from real experience. Do you agree with Lily's idea, Eve? Adam, you can trust us. Go. Okay, okay. Fine. You win. Don't overdo anything while I'm gone. I'm looking at you, Lily. I can hear you clearly. Okay, there's no time to wait. The orbit elevator. It was...
was operational until recently. It's still transferring power from fusion cells, dumping empty boxes out into space. Machine types are tricky. against the direction of the flow. It's alright. Let's scan it first.
arrived. Let's close the floodgate. It's working well. Have you received any communications from Adam? Lily? Lily? Oh, did you call? Sorry about that. Was there some kind of problem? No, I was just looking at the legacy that I backed up. Is it bothering you or something? I'm trying to verify that the information in here isn't fabricated. That's good, but be sure to focus on our current task. Yep, leave it to me. I don't feel like praying. I found a way out. Let's go back the way we came. This way. This isn't a problem, right? Of course not.
high performance body. Jealous? The sphere had to have known, right? Probably. Um, um, but still. You want to know why she hid the truth from us? Is that it? Never in my life have I doubted Mother Sphere before. Cross my heart. But I don't. I guess I'm just a little confused. I understand. I feel the same way. However, without more information, there's no way to know. Lily, let's just do what we need to right now. Yes, I'll keep that in mind. Hacking successful. Press the switch. <laughs> oh, the hypertube is closed. That's the only route connected to the space center. Can you find a way to open it?
Hypertube's power link device. If you turn on all the link devices here, you can get the power running back to the Hypertube. Got it. Leave it to me. We need to connect the power. Tebas. Be careful.
hypertube is connected to the power. Let's make our way over to the hypertube now.